Hello everyone, this is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. And uh, we're gonna go do some riding here towards uh, Beaver Creek area. Get another video in for you guys. That was a uh, really cool little video we just did with them kids. They thought our bike riding was really cool. better huh what happened to it wow come loose on you didn't it seriously loose we're gonna need some hex screws probably adjust that aren't we is it working at all just front brake huh Wow. Get off my bike here real quick. Caleb's got a little uh, minor um, adjustment he's got to do on his bike. Actually, we don't have a hex wrench and he's going to need one. He's going to try to get it hand tightened until we can get home. Yeah, jumping him hills kind of loosened his brake uh, caliper a little bit on him. Yeah, I can see you not having uh, rear brakes, if that's the case. Yeah. And of all days for us not to carry hex wrenches. I gotta take it off to get the... Uh, you gonna take it totally off? Oh, to get the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Yeah, I think the hills kind of did that in a little bit, didn't it, Caleb? Well, I heard it clicking every once in a while. <clears throat> oh, did you? I didn't know what it was. I guess that would explain the click. Yeah, this is nothing uh, got to do with walking. <clears throat> we were putting in some pretty strenuous activity here today. And, of course, the day I don't carry hex wrenches is the day we need them. Yeah, I see you took the bowl all the way out, didn't you? It's still going. Your, bo your one bolt you got out there. Well, it fell out. It oh, it already, it yeah. just fell out. We need another biker coming through here. It's got a hex set with them. I normally always carry hex tools, but I got on the um, bike today and just totally forgot them. And of course, this stuff always happens when you need them. So anyway, it is what it is. So you're going to be able to do a minor repair on it right now and we can get it tightened up. Yeah. So it completely come off the caliper? Yeah, this little bracket here. Wow come loose didn't it glad it wasn't wearing one of them were on it I could see that being a problem Should be able to get it tight enough that we can get it fixed. Seem to be a little better. Yeah. That should be good enough to at least get home. Yeah, you don't want to try to ride it up to Beaver Creek like that for sure. That back, that back caliper will come out on, come off if you're not careful. Yeah, we better just uh, finish the video up the house.
You had a, I don't think Caleb's taping on his camera right now, but I am. But Caleb had to do a little minor repair on the uh, brakes come loose, actually. And it was all that hill jumping, I'm sure. But uh, he hand took the bolts back out and hand tightened them so we can get them home anyway. We're only uh, about uh, three miles from hole three and a half. I would use your rear brake gingerly to you get home. If at all. Seems huh? like if at all. It seems like it's going to be rubbing though. Yeah, that's a possibility too. If it's out of the line, you know it will. Yeah, you might want to use that one at all. May not be a good idea, huh? We sure do, right there. I don't hear it. I don't think it's rubbing. We yeah, have all days not to carry a hex wrench or hex tools. We sure could have used one today, but Caleb hand tightened it good enough and um, you don't hear it rubbing. The caliper's not rubbing on the brake pad, so that's good. Turn your camera back on. Yeah, you might want to so we can get a little segment out of it. Tell them what happened. <coughs> Do what? That was some nice day right there. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. I hear it now. You gotta go through that little offer check in here again? Ah, uh, probably not a good idea on your bike today. Oh, I can do it on No, thank you. I'm done with that today. Definitely put the bikes through some workouts today, huh?
got up to 29 mile an hour a minute ago. There it is, 29. Got it up to 29. Let's go left here and down where that RTA station is. Okay, we can. And if we go down that road straight, it goes to where the UDF is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody waiting on us, I believe. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we're taking the back way in today. Don't want to uh, do too long of a ride because of Caleb's brake calipers are a little loose, so. Going straight. We'll go straight. So much for turning left there. up to 30 mile an hour there had a little bit of an incline there but not bad
Where are you going from here? Oh, okay. I think you're going to go up to the house. Guess we're good. Yeah, they are. Yeah, this juice is fast. I had it up to 30 mile an hour. I still didn't hear you. Couldn't watch out for grass here. Oh yeah, get, get a little slick. I got plenty of island wrenches at home. Right, here we are back to the house uh, didn't do a longer ride tonight because Caleb uh, has got some uh, brake issues we got to get some hex wrenches and um, tighten down these brakes for him before they um, cause all kind of havoc for him oh I don't believe I set that alarm yep better unlock we'll see how loud this thing is Like turn signals, brake lights, alarm. You can't go wrong with this bike, I'm telling you. I mean, this uh, alarm. I just seen it on YouTube or uh, Amazon one day. I said, Look, I'm gonna get me one of them, I'm gonna get them for all my bikes. Yeah, that way I don't have to buy any more off that other site on those alarms for sure. If I can get up my leg over this bike here. Okay, uh, folks, we're going to stop the video right here, uh, do a little repair for Caleb here. But again, I want to thank you guys for the uh, visiting the channel and watching a few of these rides. Caleb almost got me drowned today in eight foot of water. Well, maybe four inches, actually, but exaggerate a little bit. But he said, yeah, we're going to do some off-roading. That's not bad. And I consider it, I said, tell me, define how bad it is. He said, oh, it's not bad. He's 18 years old, again. To be fair, it's really not horrible. No, it wasn't, you, it wasn't horrible. It's mostly flat. Till we hit the, till we hit the ponds. <laughs> Caleb gets kicked out of me. He's got me into some stuff I don't think I'd ever do before. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. Um, share and subscribe and like and hit that bell notification. And we will see you guys on the next video. Hello everyone, again this is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. Caleb is uh, working on his brakes here. Uh, we was doing some hill jumping and they come really loose on him. Actually one bolt I think come completely out on the uh, caliper. So um, we didn't have any hex wrenches with us so he's just tightened them down now. And uh, kind of a quick little repair job. And uh, yeah, come loose on him for sure. But I think all them bouncing on those hills may have uh, eventually worked one of them bolts loose. So he didn't have a whole lot of rear braking coming back. Well, so, none at all, actually. So he didn't use his rear brake, actually. 
So yeah, we figure we better tighten these down here before we do any more riding. I believe it's pretty tight there. What do you think, Caleb? Yep. Fixed. Bada bing, bada bang. Yep. So anyway, share and like. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. And we will see you guys on the next video.